Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be making an integral grinding fixture for your belt grinder. Uh, it's a pretty cheap build and I wish I'd done it a long time ago. I've been wanting to make these in integral bolsters and integral guards and things and you can see it makes a good transition from the flat area into that radius. So let's get started. The design on this is pretty simple. Uh, it's just some flat steel. We're going to have a bolt and then some bearings. Uh, the bearings are going to be 7 8 on the OD and 3 8 on the ID. And what I've done is I've taken a couple pieces of inch and a half by quarter flat, welded them together, and drilled a hole out uh, towards the corner. And uh, all I'm doing here is just is cutting them back apart. And we're going to clean them up. And, uh, and then get ready to assemble this. So as I assemble this, all I'm doing is uh, running this bolt through the hole. And uh, the hole that I made, I made it 3 8 So it's, uh, it's a pretty snug fit. This bolt doesn't really have any wobble in that bolt hole, uh, which is what you want. And when you tighten it down, it's going to make those two pieces of, of quarter by inch and a half parallel with each other. The top plate is um, quarter inch also, and I just made it just a little bit smaller than what the the outside measurement is on those uh, pieces of uh, quarter by inch and a half. So it's just a little bit bigger than what the uh, the bearings stacked up together. I think this thing's like three inches wide. Um, anything over two inches ought to work. Now, what I'm going to do here is, is hold um, one of these... Uh, side pieces up and make sure that I'm clearing my uh, idler wheel back there and uh, and marking where I'm going to bolt this. I'm bolting this to my flat platen. I'm going to take that wheel off and then bolt this on. I know you probably really don't care to watch me uh, drill a hole in this, but I'm drilling a half inch hole. And uh, the reason I'm showing this is because uh, I thought I had a brand new drill bit um, when I got ready to drill this hole. And uh, as I came down on it, I figured out pretty quick that it was dull. And uh, like I said, the only reason I'm showing this is because um, I think I've kind of realized that not everybody knows how to sharpen drill bits. And so I thought I'd just show you the difference between a dull bit and then the same bit sharpened in no time, about, I don't know, 30 seconds, you can have your drill bit fixed. So if you uh, if you want me to, to show you how to do that, leave a comment down in the comments and um, I'll make a, a little video of, of how to sharpen drill bits. If not, just say pass. But uh, I just thought it was uh, might be interesting to somebody um, who maybe didn't know that you could sharpen drill bits easily. I mean, even if you just have a... Uh, a bench grinder or even just an angle grinder um, you could you can still sharpen a drill bit um, and, and bring it back to life without having to buy a new one or have some you know fancy drill bit sharpener so here it is I mean like I said uh, probably a couple minutes downtime and you can see it's uh, spitting out lots of good cuttings uh, real quick and makes quick work of that quarter inch plate um, Anyway, so if you want to see that, let me know somehow, and uh, we'll get back on to building this integral grinding fixture. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this whole thing together, and we're going to line up this top plate to be flush with the bearings. Uh, which is real important. Um, when we finish up, we're going to put a, uh, a lock nut on this thing because it doesn't need to be all the way tight because you do that and your bearings, I mean, they just barely turn right now with that hand tight. And so what we'll do when, um, actually, I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit to straighten everything up some. And that gave the, the bearings some play. So, because uh, it's gonna it's gonna move around a hair. I'm gonna I'm gonna move this maybe just a 
16th of a turn there just to give it a little bit more play where those things ro roll easily. Um, we're going to get this as close as we can without touching the bearings, obviously. And, uh, and I'm going to tilt it up so that it, uh, well, I need that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to tilt it up so that uh, it's flush. Okay, you can see that I've already um, I've already tilted the back up quite a bit and I'm not all the way there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here right here and knock off this bottom corner over on the belt grinder so this, this thing will drop down just that little bit more. I'm not really worried about this gap at the back right now. I'll show you what I'm gonna do to fix that problem. We made it a little past flush, which is good. We can we can let this relax a little bit to where, uh, whoops, it's gonna be perfectly flush. Whoops again. So I'll, probably, I'll just scoot this back just a, a hair. We're gonna run this up all the way till it's touching the bearings and then just back off a hair. All right, so we're, we're set up. All we need to do is tack it. Um, if you're not a welder, I'll tell you, if you're a welder, you know, just tack it in a few places and uh, don't just go to welding because it'll it'll warp this thing. And we want these this plate and the plate on the opposite side to stay parallel with each other because these bearings are squared up against them. I don't think you want them crooked. So um, just tack it a few places and we're going to add some support on the inside so that, that these plates can't move. Now I'm going to tack it from the inside, that way if I go to weld in on the outside, it's not going to pull one way or another because whichever side you weld from, that's which side it's going to go. That little tack on the outside made this plate want to pull that way a little bit, so now I'm going to pull it back. I put just a little bit heavier weld on the inside, you can't really tell by looking at it, but it was, it was just a little bit more. I'm gonna pull this out and uh, we're gonna add a brace going in right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right at the the back. It it was uh, squeezed in a little bit because I welded on this side of that plate, so it drew in a little bit. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this piece in there. And uh, that's all that matters. It doesn't really matter that it's not touching. I mean, this isn't like a super structural thing. Um, I mean, it's a belt that's going to be riding on top of all of it. So it's not really a big deal. I'm also not wanting to weld a whole lot um, on this plate 
because I don't, I don't really want it to warp or anything like that. It doesn't really matter at the back, but on this one, it's off in the middle. We want this plate to stay as flat as we, as we can. So I'm just gonna weld up uh, on these on these sides just a little bit more, um, and probably um, run a little a little bead on on both sides out here, um, and then uh, that'll be it. So I got this welded up and I, I cleaned off the edge there, um, but uh, it's, a, it's a little too tight. It drew in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, on the inside here, I'm gonna just give myself a little bit of room for these bearings so that they'll be, they'll be free. Cause they're just, I mean, really gotta force them to turn. So I'm gonna take a file and, uh, and just work it until these are just like I like them. Okay, so you can see uh, that was pretty much a success. Um, it uh, worked really well. It didn't didn't give me any any trouble right here where it transitioned from flat to that radius. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I'm not happy with is my forging. Uh, I got it a little thin down here at the bottom, and uh, I'm gonna have to take some more meat off. To get that to get that out uh, this is just kind of a practice knife anyway i built it out of a, a sucker rod so it's not really good knife materials just for for learning um but i'm going to show you uh now what i would have done differently on building this thing if i was to do it again what i would change um just to make things easier okay so first off uh, i showed you where i was having some trouble uh, getting these bearings in between here um, and they weren't they weren't rolling real well they're they're rolling real well now um, but what I did when I set this up is I just uh, put the bearings in there and then just barely tightened the the bolt down and welded it up well it drew in um, a little bit or um, even when I got done with it if after I filed it down uh, they were they were loose but as soon as they got any amount of heat on them it locked up I was like okay what am I gonna do um, but luckily see I didn't weld all the way down to the end so I've got about an inch and a half um, of, of room from from the weld to the end uh, which worked out real good so what I did was uh i didn't i didn't show you all this but i i whooped this with a hammer um a few times not real hard just enough just to get it to move some and so now i have like the slightest amount of play in these bearings and you've got to have that um i was trying to keep it where they really didn't have any play but they they need a little bit i mean it was eight bucks for all those bearings so uh worst case scenario they get worn out and i have to buy some new ones um but I don't think they will. I think they'll last a while. Um, if I was to do this differently, when I set it up, what I would have done is gone ahead and give myself, uh, like put a, a hacksaw blade or something in between here when I tighten all this down. And then when I was done, if I didn't like the gap, um, if, it was, if it was too much, what I could have done is just tighten this bolt a little bit and it would have squeezed these ears in and, uh, and I could have got it exactly like I wanted to that way. Um, so that was the main thing. The other thing was I probably would have made this uh, maybe about an inch shorter or something like that. It's kind of hard getting the belt on there. 
Um, and, uh, ah, shoot, I don't know what else. Um, this, this bolt could have been a little bit more forward. Uh, not a big deal. But uh, other than that, I mean, it went really well. And uh, I'm happy with it. Um, I mean, if you think it's kind of ugly, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But, um, well, I'm not going to get into that. It, I could have used um, a 3 16th plate instead of quarter. And I could have used bearings that had a 5 16th hole instead of 3 8 um, and that would have made my hole smaller, which means I could have moved it up and the plate being smaller, um, could have laid it probably almost flat and, uh, and it wouldn't, and it wouldn't look like that. Um, which it doesn't really matter. Um, that's, that's just looks. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps you out. And, uh, I'm looking forward to making a lot of integrals using this thing. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, um, let me know. I'll, I'll try to answer them, and uh, hopefully this will help you make some knives. See you all next time.